Tasmanian local footy clubs have struggled for numbers in recent years, and Glenorchy is no exception. It's eight kilometres away from the site of a proposed $750 million stadium, and opinions are divided on whether it should be a prerequisite for the state to get its own AFL team. Well, I think we ought to get a team first. Today, sorry. Got, you've got Bill Reeve, you've got yeah, places well, we like this. We've got stadiums that are being used already, aren't we? So there's no reason why you couldn't go that way to start with. Footy State deserves a footy team at the highest level and a, a stadium that's, um, you know, uh, up to that standard as well. I don't know if it's a necessity. I think we could probably have a team without a stadium. Others believe a stadium would help keep young talent in Tasmania. Unfortunately, we just, we just don't have the competition down here. We don't have the facilities. There's a lot that yeah, we're lacking in terms of what interstate can really give to players down here. An answer about the future of this site could be just weeks away. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese will need to address the stadium question in the federal budget on May 9. The Tasmanian government has asked for $240 million from 2026. It's not the first time he's had to make a decision over Macquarie Point, having signed over $50 million for the site 11 years ago. Progress has been slow going, but the Tasmanian government believes it's made a compelling case, tying it in with broader urban renewal in Hobart. Well, like any negotiation, we're open to options, but the Australian government um, has been extremely supportive of similar infrastructure in other states. This is not the right priority for our community, and that's what we're hearing right across the state from people in our community. The federal government are very well aware of that as well. At the grassroots level, fans just want the best outcome for Tassie footy. Adam Holmes, ABC News.